morning everybody game time brian otherwise known as the mailman driving home in north jersey after a monumental 40 to nothing win against the new york football giants i will tell you i did not see that coming i did say if there was a blowout that cowboys would be the team to do the the blowout. I just didn't think the Giants had the weapons on the outside. Um, very, very happy with my defense. Um, it was funny because after the first, uh, like during the first drive, I said it last night. That stadium was so loud. It, it, you know, it's loud. I've been there a couple times now. I'm two and zero in MetLife, so if this is a playoff game. I don't think we'd be going to New York, but I think I got to go to it. But, um, yeah, that stadium was really loud. I will say that the weather at the beginning wasn't ridiculous, but it got bad um, for the players. I was under the overhang. It was perfect. I like to be closer to the action. I was first level, but I was all the way up, like, row 41, I think it was. There's only maybe, like, 46 or 47 rows um, behind the one end zone, you know, where the you know, the tunnel where the Cowboys came out. Um, the weather got bad. And like the Eagle game, now, I, we'll touch on one thing at a time, but let's start with it since the Cowboys are on my mind. Um, listen, man, we're 1 0 in the uh, division. That goes to 11 0 against, you know, 11 0 against the Giants. Um, we really didn't get to see Dallas's offense. We didn't need to. They did what the scoreboard uh, dictated they do. And we um, didn't really have to go into our bag too much. Um, the elements were not going to allow you to do certain things. It wasn't windy, but it was not conducive to throwing the football. Um, in the like in the Meadowlands, there's always kind of like a swirl. Even though the flags were down when they were kicking at halftime and before the game, the balls were going all over the place. So take that for what it's worth. We didn't get to see much of the Cowboys' offense, but what we did get to see was an invigorated Trayvon Diggs. Did you see Trayvon Diggs laying the wood last night? I mean. If that's not a statement, and did you see Stephon Gilmore locked down? He was all over the receiver. Yes, Eagle fans, especially, you know, the trolls out there. You see the difference. And I'll get to the Eagles, but where are you going to throw the ball? You're going to throw the ball in the slot against Deron Bland? Well, he's going to take it to the house for a pick six. He had five interceptions last year. One game, one interception. Unbelievable. So, you know, I'm not going to get too high off of the game. I, I wanted the Cowboys to win. I did think that the Giants would score, um, especially that first drive. But it went downhill, and it went downhill fast. Um, you didn't get to see Brandon Cooks too much. CD, I don't know what Giants were doing, if that was a broken coverage, but... My man was wide open. You didn't get to see a lot of things, which is good. And we got to play our backups literally the whole fourth quarter. Literally. Um, I thought it was pretty darn good uh, offensively for what the weather is. And maybe that's a difference, too. We're not going to be stubborn and say, well, we run the offense. We're going to throw the ball all the way downfield. You know, there was only one pass where I thought Dak, and it wasn't intercepted. It was, it, it went off of the receiver's hand. Um, they, uh, you know, that maybe, you know, he said maybe it went in a different area, but it was in no jeopardy of being intercepted. The one guy who needs to step up, who was wide open, uh, he was wide open a lot, um, and dropped some balls, was Jake Ferguson. Listen, we won 40 to nothing. Jake Ferguson had a walk-in touchdown if he catches the ball. 
So he had a few. He had a first down that he dropped. Now again, a wet ball. There was a few times Dak said that he he took the you know the snap it, like in shotgun, and by the time he got the ball, the ball was soaked. It happens. You saw a couple of the balls sail going out of bounds. He was smart. That's what you have to be, people. You have to be smart. Um, so I'm happy. Um, obviously, what our defense did, I think Mike ended up with one sack. If you saw what they were doing, they were going totally away from Micah, or if they were going to his side, they were double teaming him. And what did that allow? That allowed everybody else to feast. Everybody else was going nuts. Uh, shout out to Vineland, New Jersey's own Marquise Bell. Marquise was playing some linebacker. He changed his number from 41 to 14. He had that smaller version, albeit, of the DeMarvin Overshone, what they have set out for him. Our future is bright on that defense. Um, but man, what got me the most excited was not holding my breath and having to totally rely on Diggs and Diggs alone. The fact that we have a defensive player of the year on the other side in Stephon Gilmore showed last night, people. It showed. Um, great win. It'll be the last time that the Cowboys went to the Super Bowl. Oh, there you go. There's vacation and holiday rambler. Um, the last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl, they opened up in New York game one, and the final score was 35 to nothing Cowboys. Are we on to something now, people? Are we on to something? Now, I have, everybody knows, I think it's going to come down to the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles for the uh, division. I also said I think it's more important that we go into the playoffs healthy and playing good rather than just winning the division. But we're off to a good start either way. It's all about health. Health is wealth. And um, that's just the fact. Um, but yeah, just in final with the Cowboy game, hell of a win. First drive adversity. They overcame it. Never looked back. Uh, we didn't get to see half of the stuff that we're going to see. Uh, the kicking game, I called for a missed kick. And we got one. Uh, I'm still not sold on Aubrey. I like the kid. I love his kickoffs. Let's just hope it was the weather. But he's got no excuses next week at home in the Dome. So we can watch the uh, Jet game tonight um, and see what we're looking for. I think the Jets are a better team, obviously. But I think our defense can hang with anybody. So, and I like the Bills tonight. So I think we can make Aaron Rodgers go 0 oh, 2. So, hell of a win. I got to get, like, when I get home, I got to see how healthy we really are. Um, Sam Williams made a couple early mistakes, but he seemed to be in the whole game, so I guess his health is okay. Uh, the new West Coast concepts, Chuma Idoga, I didn't look at the tape, you know, but Chuma looked like he did okay. We're getting the ball out quick. Um, all in all, I thought it was decent offensive performance, obviously a hell of a defensive performance, and special teams was off the hook. So, that's my... A Cowboys synopsis. Don't forget to check out me in primetime tonight when we break it all down on primetime Phil at 7 o'clock Eastern. Uh, let me touch on the other NFC East teams. I watched most of the Washington Commanders game. Sam Howe, like I told you, Sam Howe was not great. You beat an Arizona team who's horrendous. Now, I give Arizona credit. They came out and played some decent defense. I expected Washington to win easily, and that was not the case. It took a, a last drive type situation. Uh, you know, I know it's the NFL on any given Sunday, but again, I'm not sold on 
the Commanders. I had them winning that game anyway. I still have them winning seven, eight games. Tops. Um, not a threat. Oh, just real quick. The Giants will be a good team, people. That is not in any indication of how they really are. Things got out of hand, and the weather, everybody said that the weather was going to be in the Giants' favor. No, was it really? I don't think so. Uh, I think defense and weather go hand in hand. But yeah, I don't think the uh, commanders, uh, they didn't impress me at all. I know their defense is good, but um, from what I saw, the, I think the NFL is um, ready for Sam Howe. Now, to my Eagle breakdown. Philadelphia Eagles at the New England Patriots. It was horrible weather as well. It was on and off. Uh, I would say it was worse in New England than it was in New York. If I had, if the TV was, you know, just being honest. Um, that being said, um, I was surprised at the Eagles' defense. I really was surprised at the Eagles' defense. Uh, this, I'm not shitting on the Eagles' defense. They got those quick play, uh, plays early, and that's great. That's a shout out to them. They capitalized deep in New England's territory. Slay had a ball pop up, kind of like Bland's, right in his arms, and he took it to the house. Like Bland's. Um, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, Bradbury did not... Like I told you, he was playing for a contract last year. Did not look great. Uh, linebackers were shaky. Their safeties were... Eh. If they didn't get out to that quick lead, I mean, you made... New England with no offensive weapons, one dimensional. And Daniel, uh, who's the quarterback of New England? Mac Jones. Sorry. Danny, Danny Jones, Mac Jones. Mac Jones still threw for over 300 yards. Like I said, when everybody knew he was going to throw, Dan, Mac Jones threw for over 300 yards. Drink that in. You gave up 300 yards to Mac Jones. Now, from what I saw, um, Jalen Carter look, looked good. He had a good game. He got he got some penetration. Pause. But from what I could tell, he looked good. Jordan Davis played okay. Um, like I told you guys, they're young. It ain't going to happen all at once. It never does. They only had two sacks for the game. So you would have thought that they would have had more sacks against New England and Mac Jones. Not much passing. I think Jalen only had 170 yards passing, something like that. Uh, Jalen Hurts only, oh yeah, is that what I said? Yeah. Jalen Hurts only had like 170 some yards passing. Didn't see a lot of DeAndre Swift. They were. They were really working Gainwell. I like Gainwell, but I don't think he's a feature back. I think he's kind of a, a you know, 10-carry guy. But, hey, it is what it is. I thought you would see more DeAndre Swift. I know he gets hurt a lot. He's more of a gadget type guy. I don't know what they were saving him for. Maybe he was banged up. I don't know, but the Eagles going to have to play better than that if they want to win this division again. I'm just saying. Uh, I did call for them to win by 10. It didn't happen. But they still won. And they I, I believe they covered the 4.5 because they won by 5. Even with all the help that the Eagles got, they still had to fight until the end. There was any number of plays that New England makes. Number 80, the wide receiver for New England. My man, I don't know that he's an NFL receiver. The perfect ball to the sideline. you got to get your feet down. But... Hey, shout out to the Eagles. A win is a win is a win. You come home and play the uh, Minnesota Vikings on prime time. We know how a Kirk Cousins is on prime time. Usually not good at all. I expect the Eagles to win on Thursday night. Dallas has the New York Jets next Sunday. So, like I said, we get to watch the Jets and the Bills tonight. Um, looking forward to sitting back with a W and just watching. Um, nothing's changed in my mind. I still think Dallas wins the uh, division. 
Uh, their defense is what I thought, and I believe their defense is only going to get better. Dallas is running a new offense. Um, they're only going to get better. It's just a matter of health. Health is wealth. Are we going to stay healthy, people? Um, that's the key. Uh, let's talk about some NFL games. I think the game of the week, in my opinion, was the Chargers versus the Miami Dolphins. Kellen Moore does it again. He can put up stats, man. Kellen Moore can put up stats. But, you know, it's about wins and losses. Uh, a shout out to the Miami Dolphins. A shout out to Tyree Kill. My man is on a mission. Tua, when healthy, is really, really good. Uh, he was just it's dropping dimes all over the place. Um, what else do we got? Um, Oakland or Oakland? Uh, Las Vegas didn't Las Vegas beat Denver? Did the Vegas won right? Yeah, good. Vegas beat uh, Denver. It couldn't happen to a nicer team. You know, Sean Payton running his, running his mouth off. I, I was happy to see that. But really, no surprises. A lot of the earlier games were kind of low scoring. You know, not a lot of offense outside of the of the Charger game. Um, I, the whole East Coast, like the weather was kind of uh, screwy. I did call the Cleveland Browns over the Cincinnati Bengals, but. I did not have, did not have uh, Joe Burrow throwing for less than 100 yards. He was, you know, the highest paid uh, player ever in NFL history. That's a bit crazy. But, um, yeah, that's about all I can really think of. Uh, I think, uh, did New Orleans win? Did the Saints? Yeah. Yeah, the Saints eked out a close one. They didn't look that great. Ravens had a good win. I lost my fantasy running back. That's why yeah, fantasy football is like hysterical. I had my you know, kid. I was playing my kid this week. And I had him dead to rights. I was winning and I had Dak. I had Darren Waller. He had the Dallas defense. I was already up by half a dozen points. I had Dak. I had Waller. Well, we didn't have to throw because Dallas defense scored over 30 fantasy points. So I took the L. That's all right. Fantasy. My my squad won. I'm happy. That's what I try to tell them. You got to be able to put things in perspective. But, all right, everybody. I will see everybody tonight. I will try and put, uh, I don't know if he has it out yet. I, he might. Um, I'm losing my voice. Uh, I'll put the link in the uh, comments below about our live stream tonight. Don't forget to check us out at 7 o'clock Eastern on Primetime Phil. Go Cowboys.